Bohr's model of atom and its limitations. Bohr's theory is based on Planck's quantum theory of radiation. Bohr retained the atomic model of Rutherford and proposed the following postulates. Electrons are moving with high velocity around the nucleus in specified paths called orbits or shells. As long as the electron is in a particular orbit, its energy is constant. Therefore, these orbits are called stationary orbits or stationary cells. Each stationary orbit corresponds to a definite energy. These stationary orbits are designed by K, L, M, N, O and so on. The orbit close to the nucleus has less energy compared to the orbit away from the nucleus. When an electron jumps from a higher energy orbit to a lower energy orbit, the difference in energy is emitted as radiation. E2 minus E1 is equal to H2, where E2 and E1 are energies of outer and inner orbits respectively. Nu is the frequency of radiation and H is the Planck's constant. The angular momentum MBR of the electron revolving in a stationary orbit is equal to integral multiples of h by 2 pi. Angular momentum MVR is equal to nh by 2 pi, where n is an integer, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. m is equal to mass of the electron, v is equal to velocity of electron, r is equal to radius of circular orbit, h is equal to Planck's constant. Though Bohr's model could account for the atomic spectra of hydrogen, helium plus, lithium 2 plus, etc., it has some limitations. The important objections of Bohr's theory are given below. Bohr's theory could not explain the atomic spectra of higher elements such as helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, and so on, which have more than one electron. The atomic spectra lines in the presence of applied magnetic field split into several lines. This phenomenon is called Zeeman effect. Bohr's model could not account for the Zeeman effect. Bohr's model could not justify the quantization of angular momentum. Why should angular momentum be quantized and equal to nh by 2 pi, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Bohr's theory could not account for the formation of chemical bonds.